My background is particularly from the Great Barrier Reef. That's where I've done a lot of my research. And for a long time, we thought the Great Barrier Reef was a shallow ecosystem. And that's because a lot of the coral reef communities that develop there are on the continental shelf. And so they're fairly shallow waters. But what we've been starting to find is that the area of deep reefs on the Great Barrier Reef might actually be equivalent to that of shallow reefs. And so we basically have this entire second Great Barrier Reef system that we hardly know anything about. The one great thing about the Great Barrier Reef is that it's fairly well protected by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority. A lot of the deeper reef areas occur far offshore, and so they're not directly impacted by what's happening onshore. But the big problem that we obviously see with coral reefs is the rising temperatures as well as storm events. And so they impact reefs regardless of their proximity to land. And so while deep coral reefs on the Great Barrier Reef might not be directly affected by plastic pollution or sediment runoff, they're still at risk of being impacted by storm events and thermal bleaching events.